extremely dangerous for various reasons. So here are the top 10 dangerous roller coasters ever built. Number 10, Hangtime, Knott's Berry Farm. This roller coaster stops at the top, which means it's dangerous. How are people not stuck? I mean, this footage shows it's moving. I don't want people to get overheated on the train while stuck. I'm going to have to stay off of this coaster if I want to be cool. Number 9, X2, Six Flags Magic Mountain. This roller coaster flips you like crazy, which means it's automatically dangerous. How are people not flying out of their seats? Look at this. Don't these maneuvers just look unsafe? How has no one died on this? Number 8, Raven, Elegant Coaster 360, Computer Screen. Look at this roller coaster. This may not be as dangerous as you might think, but it goes so fast. And this thing can be too much for some people. How have no people died on this yet? This thing is going like crazy through all its inversions. Some people say this is the best coaster, but how? Just look at this train going through its twists and turns. This coaster is not safe at all. Don't ride it. Unless you actually have a death wish. Alright, moving on. Number 7, Valraven. This roller coaster drops you straight down. That means it can plunge someone out should the restraint fail. I hadn't heard of any deaths so far, but look at this thing. People can die if anything because of this drop. I recommend you stay off this coaster if you want to keep your life. Number 6, Son of Beast, King's Island. This roller coaster is made out of wood, and it has had lots of accidents. That means it's automatically dangerous. I am surprised people haven't fallen for splinters, but we know of two accidents in 2006 when a loose piece of wood abruptly stopped the train and all 27 riders were taken to the hospital. Then, 2009, someone sued the park for brain injury. It's a good thing this thing got taken down because this coaster was too unsafe. Number 5, the road in Pacific Palisades. This road is hilly which makes it automatically dangerous. Stay off of it. Number 4, Intimidator 305 King's Dominion. This roller coaster has caused people to black out. And it's really dangerous because that means you're passing out. I don't want to risk my life on this coaster. I would totally stay off of it and would recommend everyone else to do the same. Number 3, Gravity Max Lip Land. This roller coaster has a broken section. That means it's automatically dangerous. How is the train not flying out? How has no one died on this? At least the vertical drop coasters are not with broken track. I don't want to risk my life on this thing. Okay, how did it just complete and go safely? Alright, next. Number two, flashback, Six Flags New England. This roller coaster is not complete, and unlike Gravity Max, at least it looked complete. How has the train not flown out and killed anyone? How is everyone still alive? The train going backwards. Coaster isn't safe, but just wait for the number one, which is... Top Thrill Dragster at Cedar Point. This roller coaster is dangerous not because of its speed, but because of an accident that happened in August when a loose piece 
blew off the train and struck someone in the queue line. This coaster isn't really well maintained. And I want people to stay off of this ride. I don't know if this thing will reopen, but just in case, I want everyone to stay off the ride. It's not worth it. April Fools! I was just joking.